Hey guys, I thought I would take this opportunity again, it's beautiful out today, to show you my leg strength routine. When I'm referring to leg strength, you can pick and choose. Remember, again, repetitions between 12 and 15. For leg strength, you do mostly body weight unless you're very well experienced in doing a lot of lifting and a little bit more plyometric stuff. Then you can add a weighted bar, just a lightweight, 10 to 15, 20 pounds max. These are more to just generate some tissue strength and connectivity with the dynamic movements of cycling, running, and swimming, all right? So first one I like to do is the step up, and I do everything slow and controlled. So you're gonna put your foot firmly, you're gonna come up and lift in the back. So you're using your glutes as well as your hip flexors, push up, lift in the back. Push up, lift in the back. Push up, lift in the back. Now you can also do this adversely. You can step forward off of a block. I'm not gonna do it since I have a little bit of a knee injury. So if I'm standing on the block, I can step down, stop, and slowly go to a squat and push. And then you reverse legs, step out, down, stop, push back with power. That generates that quad knee strength, quad strength, hip flexor strength too. I like to do jump squats, and then I go from close to wide. So I'm gonna move this back just a little bit. So I'll go just light jumps to get warmed up and then wide. And then you can do these with, again, a little bit more dynamic power. I'm just trying to baby a knee injury. Don't want to make it worse, although it's getting there. And then I do split squat jump. So these are light again, quick and dynamic, engaging your core. So they're more like a split run with a quad push. So you're popping up. Those are really, really good ones to do. Um, anything else you could do with a weighted bar, squats, we're keeping your butt muscles directly over your heels and then pushing up with power and coming down slow. Keep it up guys, good luck.